Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 to 40. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me ill and you cared for me, in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brothers, you did for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Martin of Tours, Bishop. He was born in Saveria, which is modern-day Hungary in the early 4th century. His father was a high-ranking cavalry officer in the Imperial Roman Army, and Martin, although he was a pacifist, was required to follow in the footsteps of his father, which he begrudgingly did by becoming a member of the Calvary Corps. During his time in the military, he was inspired by the Christians whom he met and eventually decided to become baptized. There is one famous story of St. Martin where he encountered a beggar scantily dressed in the freezing cold. He then took off his cloak, cut it in half, and gave it to the beggar. Later that evening, he had a dream where Christ appeared to him with that very cloak he had given to the beggar and was reminded of what Jesus spoke of in the Gospels. Whatever you did for the least of my brothers and sisters, you have done for me. Shortly afterwards, Martin left the army and in his journey to serve God, traveled to Tours where he was instructed by Hilary of Poitiers. Although St. Martin desired to live out his days in prayer and solitude as a monk, he was called to a different vocation as the Bishop of Tours, which he carried out with compassion and love. Given his background as a soldier, St. Martin was an unlikely source of dedication to God through pacifism, which reminds us that all things are possible through God. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing, to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.